we all know the advantage of using thermal image as a preventive maintenance tool. Thermal image allows to identify problems prior to failure, like loose connection, overload, load imbalance, and so on. Systems with Intelligent has a complete thermal solution that includes substation hardware thermal cameras and servers, continuous monitoring, video analytics and automation, SCADA integration for alarms and thermal readings. In this video, I will explore thermal analytics and recorded data. Here, I have my VMS client software open and the thermal camera selected. Click on thermal button and then thermal configuration. At the right, we have three parameters to set up. Pooling interval is how often VMS server pulls the camera for temperature values. ROC window is the rate of change window to determine how fast the temperature is changing. For example, let's suppose that the pooling interval is 1 second and the ROC window is 10 readings. The software will take 10 measures, 1 per second, and do a linear regression to determine the temperature slope. Thermal scene is to choose thermal scene model. In case you are using the same camera to monitor a different material and emissivity. If you have any questions about these settings, please contact us. In the snapshot, you can draw up to 10 boxes for thermal readings. Just click in the two diagonal corners and the box will be created. Note that each box has a unique identification number. When you select one or more boxes, you have the delete option enabled. If you select two, you can swap them. Let's save. Now I have my image with all boxes that I drew, plus the readings for average, minimum and the maximum temperatures. Going back to thermal configuration, I can do now some alarm conditions for rate of change, absolute comparison, and relative comparison. Let's explore some examples. Condition type, rate of change. The rate of change in minimum, average, or maximum temperature in box that I choose is faster than some Celsius degree per ROC window. We use this rule when we want to check if the temperature is increasing or decreasing faster than expect. Condition type, absolute comparison. The minimum, average or maximum temperature in box that I choose is lower, greater, lower or equal, greater or equal than some Celsius degree. We can use this rule when we know exactly the threshold temperature. Condition type, relative comparison. The minimum, average or maximum temperature in box that I choose minus that in box that I choose to compare is lower, greater, lower or equal, greater or equal than some Celsius degree. This rule is very useful when you want to compare temperatures between different spots, for example, load balance. After filling all fields and the alarm description, we just have to save the condition. It is possible to add more or remove conditions at any time. Press save. Let's check thermal history. Choose the server, channel and date. Press save and select where do you want to save the file. The result will be a CSV file that contains the date and the readings for each box. It is important to remember that you can also apply video analytics and watch historical videos. That's it! 
check our website for more information about our products and solutions. And if you have any questions, please contact us.